Hey everybody, it is Beth Helvey with Couture Real Estate. I hope you're doing well today. It is Monday, May 23rd, 2022, and I want to go over our April stats with you. So we've seen something interesting happen in April of 2022. We saw an increase in inventory. What this means is that for the recorded month of April in 2022, there was an increase in inventory from April 2021 because we compare our stats to the previous year, right? We saw an increase. It's the first time we've seen an increase in two years. So we're seeing, hopefully this means that things are changing a little bit. We're gonna have to see another month or so of this to make sure that that's not an anomaly. There's a few reasons for this. Some of it is that there are more sellers who are selling right now. They're concerned that the market has peaked out. It may very well have, and they're gonna sell now before the market starts to shift. There are also buyers who have been um, waiting to buy a house and have either from fatigue from not being able to find something or because of the increase in interest rates have decided to bow out for a little bit and take a break. We're seeing a little bit of that as well. Um, but we're still seeing a lot of the other things that we've been seeing in the market continue. For example, properties are still selling at about 100% of asking price. We do have some that sell for over, some that sell for under, but the average of selling at 100% of asking price has been going on for well over a year now. So we're not seeing the crazy, crazy rates that some of the other parts of the country are seeing. We're still seeing properties go to contract relatively quickly, which means that we're seeing properties go from going live on the market to going under contract in a week. And that hasn't changed much at all lately. And so then we're also seeing, like I said, the increase in inventory. One of the interesting things about that is for the first time in quite some time, we've hit a month's worth of inventory, a month worth. So a balanced market is six months of inventory. That means that there's enough properties out there that a seller you know, can have enough buyers coming in because that also talks about buyers. There's enough properties that when a buyer is out on the market and trying to find a property that they can also find something and not be battling a bunch of other people for the same property. Average with a balanced market where sellers are happy and buyers are happy and there's enough inventory for both of these people to interact is six months. For the first time in a very long time, we hit a month. We've been around the half a month mark for over a year now. So are we starting to see a change? We might. To be perfectly honest, I would like to see what the stats for May are um, when they come out in June and then probably in June as well to make sure it's not an anomaly. However, we are seeing sellers, more sellers enter the market because they are concerned that the market is going to change and they want to catch it before it does. And we're seeing some buyers exit the market. We're not seeing as much activity from as many buyers as we had previously. So that's starting to change. What this means for you is still pretty much the same thing. Sellers, buyers are pushing back. When you put your property on the market, it needs to be ready. It needs to be staged as well as you can stage it. You need a professional photography. It needs to be clean. It needs to be decluttered. Buyers are pushing back. Buyers are not willing to pay some of the prices that they're seeing. Um, and what they'll do is they'll take their money and they'll wait and they'll wait for the property to come on the market that they really do want. When you do not take care of your house as far as professional photography and staging it properly and cleaning it, your buyer either consciously or subconsciously feels like the property has not been well cared for. And that's something that you definitely want to avoid if you want to get top dollar. Buyers, it's still the same. If you're going to pay cash, have your proof of funds ready. Have your financial advisor or your banking institution write you that proof of funds so that we can then show your seller that you're buying an you are putting an offer on that you could indeed pay for the property. If you're getting a loan, same thing. Make sure you have a pre-approval that is up to date. Pre-approvals do have an expiration date. Make sure your pre-approval is up to date so that we can then submit it with your offer so that you have the best chance of getting the property possible. So I will post the stats underneath this so that you can see it in graph form. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. I'm happy to answer any of those questions that I possibly can. If you have the opportunity to get outside, I encourage you to do so. It's close to 90 today, I think. So wear your sunscreen, drink a lot of water, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.